My name is Eric Coslin, and I will discuss and demonstrate EIGRP configuration with the Firewall Management Center. This is a new feature in the 7.2 release. EIGRP has been available for quite some time in the Cisco Secure Firewall. However, it had to be configured using FlexConfig, which allowed you to write CLI commands into the data plane. This was rather cumbersome. In the 7.2 release, we have a UI in the FMC to handle EIGRP configuration. We also do have on the firewall CLI the commands that you would typically use to troubleshoot the EIGRP configuration. There's a limitation of one autonomous system per device, and EIGRP is limited to the global VRF. First, we will do a demonstration of the minimal, simple example. Then we'll go through the pages not covered that are required for more complex configurations. We will then briefly discuss the REST API. Let's do the demonstration. Here is the component of the running configuration that we're going to create with the FMC UI. As you can see, we have a single network. It has a single interface on it, and we're going to redistribute our connected routes so that the peer can access all of the networks directly connected to the firewall. Let's begin. So we can see that we start with a firewall. Here are our show EIGRP commands that are available. And in particular, we don't currently have a configuration. We've set up a router and pre-configured it with EIGRP to save time today. Here you can see the interfaces that we're going to use. And uh, let's go to the routing on the firewall. Go to EIGRP, enable it, set the AS number, and choose the network that the interface facing the router is on. And now let's redistribute our connected routes. We could set up a metric if we wanted to. We'll just use defaults to show how simple this can be. We select connected for the protocol and we're done with the configuration. For purposes of this demo, let's uh, speed up the deployment. And now let's see what we accomplished. So going back to the firewall, we now see that we do have an interface configured for EIGRP. And we have a neighbor. And in fact, we've learned three routes from that neighbor. And just for completeness, let's look at the router. We see the neighbor relationship and the routes that we learned from the firewall. And that concludes the demonstration. Now we want to briefly go through the tabs that we didn't go through in that demonstration just to show the capabilities. Neighbor, filter rules, summary address, interface, and advanced. The neighbor allows you to set up a neighbor, which is a network object, for unicast communication. The filters can be inbound, outbound using a interface, or outbound to redistribute to another protocol. In any case, you would have an access list associated with the filter. Summary address can also be configured in a separate tab. And for interfaces, you can configure the hello interval, hold time, and delay time, as well as authentication. Now let's look at the advanced tab. There are actually five components of the advanced tab. There's the default route information, learning and advertising the default route through EIGRP. Administrative distance can be modified if desired. Adjacency change logging configuration is available. Setting up this device as a stub EIGRP router is also available, and you can modify the default metrics. Now let's quickly look at the REST API. The FMC has comprehensive API for configuring EIGRP. And here is what you will see if you say, go to the API Explorer. Now, 
One thing that might confuse you if you go to the API Explorer is that you also see API calls for specified VRFs. And didn't we say that it, this is only available on the global VRF? Well, this is to future-proof the API. In the 7.2 release, these API calls will only work if you use the global VRF UUID. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for your time.